You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready. It's almost time to get up. If breakfast is ready, you feel like you had a nightmare? What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Alrighty then. To the living room we go. Good morning. Good morning. Toast, baby. Love me some toast. Damn, breakfast and toast okay. sounds good right now. Let's okay. Eat. Let's eat. Uh, did your father go to work or did you, did you cook this shit? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Sound like she, you sound like Sunny from Metal Gear Solid 4. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. Oh, is that how it works? It's You're that kind of situation, huh? Today, right? My yes, sir. school's on the way, so let's go together. Sure. If you just want someone to walk with, that's all you had to say. She seems restless, huh? Of course I'm going to go to school with her. I'm not just going to leave her to go by herself. She's a little goddamn girl. Can we save it before we go? Apparently not. School zone. Samagawa food plane. All right. You keep going straight from here. All righty, then. My school's this way. Bye. Bye. All right. To school we go. We're going to go beat some bullies down before they start picking on us. School zone. Intersection in front of the school. Oh, we're going to meet somebody before we even get there. We're going to make a best friend before we actually go to school. I can feel it already. Yep, we just made ourselves a best friend. Yeah, he probably squashed his nuts. I should leave him be? Okay. Yeah. I'll, I wouldn't want to be bothered after I just crushed my nuts either. I like the music. The music is really good. You've arrived at the main gates of Yaso Gami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? I don't know. Why don't we go in and find out? It's like a visual novel, man. There's a narrator telling us, like it's like our, it's like our conscious is telling us what to do. Ah, uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moroka, isn't it? Totally. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Super fun. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Here I come. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Sorry to say I'm a dude. A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay, so his his name's Yosuke. All right, so he's actually from the city as well. That's easily our new best friend then. What's with him? What's with Who you? Knows? Black haired girl, I like her. Hey, black haired girl, how's it going, baby? I hope we hit on her immediately. All right, shut your traps. Okay, Maroka and his super overgrown overbite. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka. You're Oka. Teacher from today forward. Okay. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. <laughs> Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. So we're going to have sex ed day one. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Bitch. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Wow, what a douchebag teacher. He's just as much of a loser here what? as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Wow, what a douchey ass teacher. Oh my name, god. Kid, and make it quick. How did he get a job? Fuck that. That pissed me off. You're calling me a loser? That's right, bitch. I'm courageous like that. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective and I don't give a fuck. You're an asshole. I'm a rebellious type bitch. We don't play now this listen game. Listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. Wow, what a teacher. You I want better this teacher. not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. Okay. But what do I know? 
It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. <laughs> your my places. Mr. Maroka goes on and on, just like the everybody said that he would. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Oh boy, we already got a girl that wants to hit on us. Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. I guess I don't have a choice. So hurry up and sit down already. So hurry up and shut the fuck up already. Oh my god. What a douche. This is the douchiest teacher I've ever seen. He's the worst, huh? Totes. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. I'm only gonna be here for a year. And hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Really, though? Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. At least the students here don't seem to be douchey to me. It's the teacher that's being the douche. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Really, though? Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Shut the f... God, just, oh, I want to throw something and punch. I hope I get to knock his teeth out before this game is over. Anyway, life in the new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? That remains to be seen. But it doesn't seem like I'm not welcomed. Wait, it's already after school? Jeez, what a quick transition that was. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Really? Weak. But school's out. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Weak. Can't even go home and play video games? Lame. He's seriously getting on my nerves. I know, right? Yep, I had a feeling it was going to be of uh, a legal nature. Don't those sirens sound really close? Like maybe heading yeah, right towards us? Thing. Freaking fog. Uh oh. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Wow, guys are, are like super serious? freaking gossipy here. I didn't catch that last thing. Could you, could you repeat it, please? Hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. I can't discuss such things. <sighs> Sheesh, how much longer is this going to take? All day. There's no telling. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? What? Try what? <gasps> Do tell. You know, that thing about rainy nights. Uh, is it kinky? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Weak. Oh, I wanted to hear this story. Okay. You can enjoy it tomorrow. It's supposed to rain again. It's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Uh, huh. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat... Incident? Oh, you know this, and it's bad. Actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. You can't tell students to not go look. They're all gonna fucking crowd around and look. That's what they do. They're a bunch of teenagers, bro. That's what they do. They're nosy fucking teenagers, man. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? No, I forgot already. Thanks. <laughs> you do? I totally forgot you and you're the only person wearing green. 
It's well, funny because nice that, that green jacket reminds me of a, one that my cousin wears, except for the yellow stripes. But his jacket was green and yellow. It's just her stripes and her boobs make it a little different, obviously. Uh, this is Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko and Chie. All right, got it. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come I'm on, not. Don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. Huh? I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. She just wants to know about all the sex positions that you can learn from people from the city. That's all. Oh my God, this girl in the green, man. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. What? And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. What are we talking about? The way See they ya. move? Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Oh, I see. <laughs> what the? I can't believe this. <laughs> it is completely I bet cut. you it happened when he fell off his bike. My trial of the dragon. Not trial of the dragon. That's the best Bruce Lee movie there is. I think mine's correct, too. Critical hit to the net. <laughs> Twice in one day, man. Twice in uh, one day. Are you all right? Oh, you could go, son. Are you worried about me? I might need you to check on my nads. It's <laughs> fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Uh, he looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. <laughs> I like how we just leave him, just to feel the nuts, the pain of this nut shot every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? Uh, who are you and what the fuck? What? <laughs> who, who are you? <laughs> you gotta love how he just walks up out of nowhere and says What's some shit like him? that. What school's he from? Really, though. Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. Yeah, really, though. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? The fuck are they talking about now, Amagi challenge? Uh, so are, are you coming or not? The fuck? Okay. Really? If I went up to a girl and was like, hey, you want to go hang out with me? And then like, I've never talked to this girl in my life, but just walked up to her. You're, you're that chick, right? Hey, you want to hang out with me? And she's just like, who the fuck are you? And then he's like, oh, you, uh, so are you going to come hang out with me or not? I, I'm not going. Yeah, good answer. Fine. Oh, God. You might wanna what, what what for want to watch out for... He wanted did he want He wanted your goodies, my friend. What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. He wanted your goodies. Huh? Really? Yeah, stay, bl stay dumb you about really it because seriously... No you, you don't want a guy like that to have your goodies. You saw him, again, the way he fucking that way reacted when top. you said no. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Exactly. How did he know that was your shortened version of your name? <laughs> Yuki. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? You know Man, it. you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Well, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. Punk team. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Um, why not? I'm just curious is all. We want to know how giant his um, is. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. No, you're not. You're not sorry. What the? Come on, let's go. Everybody say, is staring. There's a bunch of people fucking standing around us now. They just like seeing the girl in the red. The girl in the red just stands out way too much, you know what I'm saying? I mean, clearly that was on purpose. Duh. But I mean, even so. Where are we headed off to now? Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. She wanted to know, man. She wanted to know. There really is nothing here, huh? 
Just fields of green. Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Unless they've never seen all the green before. Oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Luckily, you oh, know all wait, about where you live. There's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. You have a place where people can stay the night? Oh my god. Huh? It's just an old inn. Don't be so modest. Oh, no way. It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. Oh yeah? Do tell. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. What if she wants to go to the big city and say f this little ass town? The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Well, you don't say. I don't think that's entirely true. Don't be so modest. So tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh, duh. It's hard to say. There's... <sighs> you can't say it's hard to say. You know how f***ed up that is? You either say yes, or you blush. Those are your two answers. I'm going with yes because you can't just press... If the dot 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 said blushes with a fucking little, you know, asterisk thing, I would do that. But no, we'll go with think so, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. You damn right, baby. Don't you forget Come on, it. Come don't start this again. Well, I'm not gonna lie about she's it. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? No, not that weird. Come on, stop it. I'm guessing that red flash was supposed to be her blushing. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Okay, so you have had a boyfriend? Do tell. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. There you go. Jeez. That's the answer we want to hear. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But this is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city, and you barely said a word. Don't do it. Hey, what's that? What's what? Oh, look. Let's see what's going down behind the police barrier. The high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? Oh, shit. I wanted to see it, too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Oh, yeah? Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. So based on what you've just said, there was a dead body up in the antennas. That's crazy. Why did we... Why can't we see Wait, this? what did she just say? A dead body? That's what I heard. Hey, look, it's Uncle. Hey, Uncle! Hey, what are you doing here? I'm on the way home, bro. We're just passing by. We were curious, or did something happen? Let's be more cool about it. We were just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. Of course. That Naturally. Damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. Too late. You know this guy? Uh, Uncle. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. What? But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. We don't need another dead teenager on our hands. What the fuck? Okay. Detective, detective with the bad stomach. How long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? The central office? Yeah, you want to be pushing Sorry. papers for the rest of your life, sir? Or son? Pushing papers for the rest of your life, son? <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. All right. Wash your face. And take some of that Listerine, too. <gasps> was this what that announcement was about? Dead kid. What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? The body! Duh! Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Oh, we were gonna go to Juness? <gasps> but the commercial idea. got me so excited to go there. Alright then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Do our best what? I, I don't... What? Is that a saying? Let's do our best? The two of them left. <laughs> Thank you. You decide to head straight home. Alright, well, let's go straight home then. Uh-huh, so we're at the evening now. I 
wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Don't be sad. Everything's gonna be okay. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you have heard about? Of course it the is. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old oh, announcer at the so local television station. It's not the the student. Oh, the student must be the one that found the dead body. That's what the guys. The, that's what the chicks were saying over there. I thought maybe they said the student was the dead one. So the dead one is the announcer. So we already got two suspects in mind: the guy who had an affair with her, or the girl, the wife of that guy. Remember, that's the story we heard earlier. Let's keep those in mind. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! That's where detectives work! It's crazy! Uh, it'll be alright. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. Alright then. Quit freaking out. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna. Atop a local resident's roof. Yeah, that's crazy. How do you get a body up there unless they fall from somewhere above it? Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. Uh -huh. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. At which time it will probably be just as foggy. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasogami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. I we remember. Found her on the roof? That's scary. Scary? <gasps> oh, it's Juness. <laughs> Fuck it, the commercial's on. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. She gonna sing it again? Every day's great at your Juness. Gotta love the little hand wave dance. The hand wave dance. The hand wave dance. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. Uh, do you like that song? You're a good singer or your Juness? Should I sing along with her? I kinda want to. Your Juness. Yeah. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Are you? Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Well then, aren't we the best cousin ever to make our little cousin not scared of the news story? When is Dad coming home? Nanako keeps looking toward the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. Can we change the channel? You asked the Nanako permission to change forecast. Let's see what the weather's looking like. Yep, it's going to be cloudy tomorrow and rainy until the Sunday. Didn't really change, but the sun's coming out next week. Prepare for sunny days ahead. All right. Um, Before we go to sleep, let's go ahead and explore anything else maybe we might be able to do. If you have ingredients, make lunch. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing catches your eye. No fried rice today. All right, before we save it, let's go upstairs and see if we can... Can we come back downstairs? You are tired from adapting to your new environment. Rest in your room. Oh, no, we're not going to go to sleep yet. I, was go I thought we could go explore our room, but I guess not. Well, then, in that case, let's save it up right now and wrap this episode up. And based on the time right now, this is probably the end of a second episode, which is fine. So I hope you guys are as excited for this Let's Play as I am. Because, man, I didn't know what kind of game we were really in store for here, but now that I know it's going to be like a visual novel mystery slash RPG style. I'm actually pretty excited because I've really been into watching uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's Ace Attorney Let's Play that he's doing right now and I'm like I've, I, it's almost made me want to play a freaking Phoenix Wright game again but playing this that might fit right into what I want to play so this actually might work out quite nicely. Like I said this is going to be a long Let's Play so I'm probably going to have a lot of long recording sessions like this one where I record more than one episode in one sitting just because, like I said, it's a long fucking game. We're going to be doing this game for the next foreseeable future, meaning a long time. Anyways, that wraps up this second episode of Let's Play Persona 4, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!